Long Distance by Whitney Garner To all my friends both near and far, far away. Chapter 1 Start small with people you know. See, it won't be so bad. It might even be fun. How? Look, now I'm a bunny. Yeah, I don't know. Come on, Vega, I know you like this one. They didn't even get Saturn's rings right. It's only Seattle. It's what? A measly 174.2 miles from Portland. No big. Haley, you know I hate Seattle. You never been to Seattle? Yeah, I know. I have to live there. I don't want to. I don't want you to either. I hate this. Long distance. A week later in Vegas' new Seattle bedroom. Look, I actually have a good window for my telescope here. Oh, which direction? Northern facing. See? Lots of light pollution out. Oh, did you find my present? No. What did you do? Look in your telescope box. I thought I'd be the first thing you unpack. Close. Toothbrush was first. I hope you like it. Wow. It looks awesome. See we match. Oh, couldn't you have just snugged yourself inside the box? Why aren't you here with me? Because my dad didn't get some fancy new job at Monolite. Now, look at the rest of it. Haley, you actually made this? Jeb, it's your very own star wheel. A star wheel is a tool to quickly tell which stars and constellations are above the horizon on any day and time of the year. Set date and time by spinning the wheel. Note which horizon the constellation is closest to and put the horizon near the bottom. Constellations higher in the sky are closer to the center of the map. You even made Vega Pink? Why are you the best? I have one too, so when you get your telescope set up. Tonight, I set it up and we'll see what we can spot together. Vega, breakfast, it's getting cold. I gotta go, I'm sorry. Well, talk son, don't worry. Portland sucks without you. Seattle sucks worse. Living already? He can be late on his first day. It's gonna be fine, right? Better than fine. Fantastic. Fine is good. I don't mind just fine. Just don't put any magnets next to big hard drives or whatever. I'll leave all my magnets here. Wish me luck. We loves you, Wes. Good luck. So, come search tomorrow. You ready? Not really. You are going to have a great time and you will make so many new friends. I already have Haley. Don't you think you should have some Seattle friends? I'm not going to replace my best friend because we move. Who said replace? Did I say replace? Haley. And I have the internet and funds. I mean, absolute worst case scenario we have. The postal service, right? But I'm sure Haley would want you to. So we don't need to go out and make new friends. I don't know why you nixed my party idea. No parties. Why not? Did you just forget what happened at my ninth birthday? You're still upset about that? Haley was the only one who even bothered to shut up. So I don't see how repeating that fiasco is supposed to help me. Fine. Who will even come this time? I don't know anyone. That's what the camp is for. Make your next friend at camp very best friend. Participate in dozens of fun activities with your new friend. Enjoy special fireside treats and stories with your new friend. Your new best friend awaits you under the stars. Camp very best friend for the best of friends. That's a pretty nice telescope. I guess it's probably darker out in the woods. Bird night sky visibility? Yes, exactly. I bet you will see all sorts of stars you've never seen before. Why does it look like only one kid goes there? That's just the pictures. You are going to meet tons of kids who can't wait to be friends with you. And then maybe we will have a party. Don't push it. Later that day, 
Camp Very Best Friend is nestled in the Tiger Park State Forest. It's perfect for interbreeded Seattle area children to branch out, make new friendships, and gain new skills every child, no matter how introspective, will make a very best friend. Later, I promise, my dads want to send me to some camp for lonely losers as if that will actually help me. You still want to stargaze later or tomorrow? What feels like 10 hours later? I'm ready when you are. Hey sweetie, you awake? Pops, did you just get home? Yeah, still onboarding meeting my new co-workers and all that. Do I have to go to this camp tomorrow? Can I stay here and do my own onboarding? Come on, it will be an adventure. I wish you would stop saying that camp won't be an adventure, moving here wasn't. It's just a thing we had to do that you wanted us to do. Mm, I'm sorry if it feels that way. It's not the worst thing. It's just not an adventure, it's just a donut different. I know it's very different and new. It could be end up being fun. What's the harm in trying? Because it's weird to just assume some stranger is going to like you. What's wrong with just having one good friend? Because the more the merrier, better to uh, not have all your eggs in one basket. A tricycle works best with three wheels, really pops, bikes exist, two wheels and they're much cooler than tricycles. Yes, well, I mean unicycle exist and they only have one wheel. No one looks cool on a unicycle, no one. Look, I can just walk up to someone and say, oh hey, hi, let's be best friends, like it's easy, it's not easy. Sure it is. Oh really? It's just so easy to make friends and I should have more than one. I should have lots and lots because of tricycles. Well, what about you? Hmm? Me? How many friends are in your basket because from where I'm sitting? It's just that I, we just move and I, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Ha! I made you a deal. I will go to a camp and maybe even try to make a friend if you do it too. I'm too old for camp, Vega. You know what I mean? You try here, I will try there. Look, it's not that easy. Fine, I try. I will try if you try. I love you, B. Pops, what if I do try and none of them like me? Are you kidding? Who wouldn't like you? Just wondering, then you can be friends with whoever and end up meeting. I'm sure they will be very cool, just like me. Sure, Pops, probably a celebrity, very interesting and very famous. Good night, Pops. Night, Vega. I'm ready when you are. The next morning, what if I make a friend before I go to this camp thing? Will I still have to go? What do you mean? If I made a friend before the band comes, could I just stay home? You want to go out and make friend right now? By all means. So if I do, I can stay home. I never say that. How to make friends? Tips for making friends. Start small with people you know. Get yourself out there. Take the first step. Be open. Get to know the person. Be there for them. Make the effort. I can do this. How am I supposed to start small? With people I know? When I don't know anyone? Uh, uh, oh, nothing, sorry. Actually, hey, I just moved here and this is crazy, but I was really hoping that I could make a friend today so I don't get shipped off to this camp later. My dad think I need a camp to help me make friends and that having some new friends will be good for me. You know, that annoying parent thing where they think they know better than you. 
because I really don't need a new friend. I have a best friend already. She just lives far away. But maybe you could just pretend to be my friend for like 15 minutes. I really appreciate it. What? Do you know what? Forget it. Never mind. You've got a spring in your step? Where are you rushing off to? To finish packing for camp. Jammers, compass, notebooks, snacks, crank flashlight, pens and pastes, brushes, towel, charrier and boots, winkers, just in case, water, sextant. And my phone? Still no response. You okay? I'm leaving soon. It's getting late. Did you call them? I got a machine. I left two messages. Are you sure it was today? Yes, honey, it's today. More like tonight. Wait, there it is. Running late there, huh? Ha, how true. Lots of traffic on the roads tonight. Bad luck. You okay back there, B? Yeah, I'm fine. Call us when you arrive. She can call us when she gets to camp, right? Yes, there is some patchy reception in the woods, but no problem. Wait, don't leave. Phew, I thought I was gonna miss the band. Hey, here's a new friend already. Have the best time. We're gonna miss you so much. Remember our deal. I try if you do. Bye. Wait, you two have a deal? Do you friends want to sing a song? I just love singing, don't you? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up aboard the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Chapter 2. Get yourself out there. You are not Isaac, nope. I knew they were gonna split us up. I knew it. Split up with who? My brother so we can branch out of or comfort zone or whatever. That's the idea, right? Get yourself out there. It's a dumb idea. What's wrong with being comfortable? I'm Gemma, Vega. Like this star? Yeah, you like astronomy? It's okay. I'm more of a down to earth girl. See, I'm just here to expand my collection. I bet there's a good spot to find Thunder X Nerby. Hem tries says there's lots near Natchez. I bet there could be some near Seattle. That sounds pretty fun. Maybe I can write. Well, first I have to go find Isaac. He's my built-in BFF. So I don't really need to worry about making a new one. Me either. Still no response. Have fun. Sorry, fell asleep. At camp, no friends yet. Sending, 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 sending. No signal. You are the girl from the band? Hey, Jeb, wasn't that so weird? I guess so. I mean with the singing, do they think we need lullabies? She was really off key. It's weird. Yeah, sure, I'm glad. It's Buffett style here at least. I just loaded my whole plate up with bacon. Usually breakfast has way too many eggs, which is the pits because I'm allergic to eggs. You'd be surprised at how many things have eggs in them, even mac and cheese. Anyway, I told my mom and I didn't want to come here because of all the secret eggs. Secret eggs? Yeah. Last year, I finally got invited to Tyler Lips' birthday party and I ate a slice of cake even thought they told me there wouldn't be eggs, but guess what? Secret eggs? I had to ride to the hospital in ambulance and everything. Well, you better be careful then. Yep, I really learned my lesson with that one. Would your friends like some use? That's water. It can be used if you want. Do you like orange? See, si, you will love it, but enjoy. Ah, oh, this tastes kind of strange and gritty. The bacon is really cold and spongy too. It's really gross. Want some? I'm Query. By the way, your name is Query? Like a keyboard? It's my nickname. Everyone calls me Query. Everyone back home, they didn't eat school. How much I know about computers, so they all say things like, Oh wow, Query, you know more about computers than people? And are you sure you aren't actually computer, Query? Because everyone knows I'm smart. I'm Vega. 
Wouldn't you like to share a table with George? He's a very good friend. Hey team, it's the best to start the day with a zero of champions, right? Team, we're all in this together, right? I guess. Be warned, the food is pretty bad. Too bad it's not peanuts and cracker jack. Maybe we could get some of those tomorrow? This camp seems like a home run to me. I can't wait to play some sports later. What do you like to play? Anything with a ball, of course. Hey, weren't you the kid on the camp brochure? Yes, I tried to look super popular. I think I nailed it. You are a model? You were alone in all the pictures. Did they let you come to camp for free? Did you have to audition? Take headshots? I always wonder what it would be like to be a model. For some reason, every time I take a school picture, I blink. How do you avoid blinking? Do you have any tips? This is QWERTY. He is enthusiastic. I'm George Washington. What? Does everyone here have a nickname? It's not a nickname. It's the president's name. Your parents must have really liked him. Oh, sure, my parents. Anyway, A, do you want to team up for the three-legged race later? Not really. I think I'm going to try to find cell service. I want to text my friend. Oh, but aren't you here to make new friends? I'll do the race with you, George. I'm fast, but I must admit I'm not exactly the most coordinated, which might be tricky for that kind of race. But if we try hard enough... I bet we can. Yeah, no, that's all right. Chapter 3. Take the first step. Does this one look like a thunder egg, Gemma? Nah, too small. What are thunder eggs? Thunder eggs are round rock-like formations that start with hollow centers. Over thousands of years, small fractures in the rock, they let mineral lace water seep into the void, and these waters form the new core of the rock. With the appearance of raw rock on the outside, a cool and polished will revolve the core of beautiful mineral deposits. We will find one eventually. Just gotta keep digging. No, you can die now. Ah, I told you. It's a slasher. Isaac, it's just my bunkmate. Vega. Oh, hey. Hey, hi. I thought you were the Seattle slasher. You need to stop listening to all those scary podcast you won't be saying that if things start getting spooky sorry my phone died while i was trying to find some signal we're pretty far out here you might not have much luck i'm sure your parents aren't too worried i mean they know where you are it's not my parents it's my best friend she lives in portland sure right but maybe i can help you find wow is it bleeding? Blood freaks me out. Let me see how bad it is. Don't worry, I have supplies. Wow, you really are prepared. Oh, I got lots of stuff in here, like this. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I think so, thanks. Hey, I think I found something. I'm gonna go check it out. You coming? Nah, I'm just gonna head back. That kid needs to kill. Campers. Please meet at the fire pit. Five minutes, campers. Hello, friends. I think it's a good time to officially meet each other. We are going to play a game. Fun is imminent. You may express your excitement. We are going to go around in a circle and introduce ourselves. Say your name and tell us one interesting fact about yourself. Something interesting. Maybe something no one else knows. How about George? goes first. He is a very interesting boy. Hey, Jed, my name is George Washington or whatever, and I just like normal stuff, no big deal. Wow, great, George. I bet everyone would love to be your friend, right? Great. Who is next? How about you? I, um, er, I like a lot of things, I guess. Oh, uh, name one? Um, can you come back to me? Come on, now introduce yourself to your new friends. 
I go. Hello everyone, I'm Quirty, or at least that's what everyone calls me. I can think of some interesting things about me, I guess. Like, um, for instance, I remember my mom's vacuum to follow me around and bark. Now it's like my pet, I call him Reggie. Also, last year for the school talent show, I play music on my dad's old Game Boy. But my favorite type of music is... The son of your own voice. I actually I am a very bad singer. I was going to say, what weren't you going to say? Do you like ever stop talking? I uh I was just trying to. Someone take his batteries out, please. Ha 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 ha. That kid needs to chill. Quirty, Quirty, where did you go? Come on, we'll get lost. I don't even know where the camp ends. Oh, hey. Does that seem heavy to you? It sure felt heavy. You didn't have to leave the group. I wasn't going to get lost. I have an excellent sense of direction, I think. I'm sorry about Mr. President back there. I don't know why all the counselors are upset with him. Uh, I'm pretty used to it. I don't normally let that stuff get to me, but... But what? I thought... I thought everyone here was going to be like me, but I was wrong. What do you mean? No one is like me. It's like I'm some sort of alien. Don't say that. Can you grab that for me? It's heavy, right? I guess so, but it's a pretty big pine cone. You can head back. No reason. You shouldn't try to make friends. No, I can stay. I don't want Haley to think I can just replace her. All right, your Portland friend. Actually, maybe you can show me how to get back. I probably get lost on my own. Of course, follow me. This way, this way, this way. Hey, Haley, so it's official. This camp is weird. I wish my parents had let me stay home. How am I going to get through two whole weeks out here and all alone? How's Portland? Are you racing in the soup box derby again this year? My phone doesn't work at all here. I'm glad I remembered to pack some stamps. Sorry if you've been trying to reach me. I've been trying to talk to you. What happened? It's okay. I know long distance is hard. Should it be this hard? Just what happened? Did you make new friends already? I'm sorry if I say something dumb. Great back, son. Vega. What the heck? Ugh, sorry, just couldn't sleep. Gemma, you are awake? Everything okay? Yeah, sure. Good night. Good night. Good morning, friend. Would you like some use? Hi, I was wondering where I could drop this off. What's that? Just something. I want to mail my friend an email. We don't have Wi-Fi here. No, it's a letter. Don't you have a mailbox? Try the office. Just follow the signs along the trail. I will. Thanks. I'm telling you, I hear something. You have to stop thinking we're in a horror movie. We're not. Now look. I didn't say we're in a horror movie, just that I hear something or someone. Wow, that is weird, right? Come on, let's figure this out. Vega, what's up? Wow, George. That's a new look. You like? Trying out some fresh frames and new vibes. I guess I just wanted to go into the office for a sec. Why? I wanted to mail this. Oh, a paper letter, super vintage. Oh, uh, so DYI? I think you mean DIY? Do it yourself. Of course, yeah. So why the letter writing? I just don't want my friend to think I forgot about her. Your friend? Are you friends with George yet? He is a very good friend. Okay, okay, thanks. They really like you around here, oh? I mean, I am a pretty good friend and all. Well, anyway, wait. I'll take it in for you. I'll send it with love. No worries. I think I can manage. It's easier if I just do it. I don't think you're allowed in the office, and you are. 
I am alone because uh um or oh I think I understand you do your parents work here don't they that's why you get special treatment yes my parents they own the camp and that is why I'm allowed to do some things now can I please just help you it's what friends do I guess okay here so you will put in the mailbox just wrap it in the outgoing tray what are you up to now i want to find the telescope from the brochure i don't think you will see anything with these clouds it's always cloudy in the pacific northwest not in the summer maybe i could check it out anyway it look a uh, way cooler than the one i have at home well, I'm gonna be jamming out and playing some original tunes at the fire pit. I think you like them. I'm really good. Forget the telescope. This will be way more fun. Vega, there you are. I was looking for, for, for the arts and crafts area. I think they're doing crafts now. It's right there under the huge banner. Oh, silly me, I can't believe I didn't see it. Bird head and over there. You coming, Vega? Sure, let's. Why don't we all go? I love the idea of artisanal small batch handmade friendship bracelets. So hip. I like the color you pick, George. Mine aren't working out like I had hope. They're dissonant, they clash, they don't match. Like they don't belong. Big new ones then. I think it looks great. Hema, we should tell them something up, you guys. Nothing up? What's up? Nothing, nothing. You are not making one? I already have one, see? It's got charms and everything. Yep. Does anyone know how to finish these things? Come here, I can totally help you. So you're worried? I just can't shake the feeling that someone is out there watching. Someone or something. This is prime Bigfoot territory, you know. You believe in Bigfoot? You don't? Who has a Bigfoot? And I know I heard something rustling around in the woods last night. And you think Bigfoot before like a deer? Exactly what I said. If I say it was a Bigfoot, would you help my tie, mine too? Oh, your match. Let's all make matching ones. That was nobody left out. We already finished ours. You can try to match them, I guess, if you really want. Yeah, I think we're gonna go look for more thunder eggs now. I'm allergic to eggs. We know. Chapter 4. Be open. Make new friends or upgrade the old. One is classic, the other 2.0. Thank you. Maybe I should tell a spooky story. You can try. It's a south crowd. This is gonna be good. There was a group of kids at camp one summer. There were many parents ship them off to learn like team building or whatever. Everything was going fine. Kids were swimming in the lake and eating bacon. Cold bacon? Yeah, cold chewy bacon, making friendship bracelets, having a great time, but while the campers had fun, little did they know they were being watched. When they ate, when they slept, every time they thought they were alone, they weren't, because something was out there watching them. Who? 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 Some... Call it the Pacific North Best, others call in the West Coast Watcher, but I like to think of it as the eye. This is the best. One day a boy with big fake glasses, suspenders and a hat was walking back to his bunk after kickball and he couldn't see it but he knew deep down the eye was watching, waiting, yes, and before he could even reach the door he was... Snatch! Ah! It was the eye? The eye got him? Could be no one knows for sure. Maybe he wandered off. Be right back. Need more mallows. Why will he do that? Wandering off is a very bad idea. Everyone should stay in the camp and be with their friends.
Not everyone does what they should do. It's fake doubt. The eye, like the guy with the big foot. Shh, I think I hear something. Boo! Ah, this isn't fun. This was supposed to be fun. It's all too scary and not all friendly. Hello? Hey, I finally got you. How are you? How's everything? Sorry, I got a new phone. Who is this? It's me, Vega. Oh, hey, look. I can talk now. I'm super busy. Oh, shh, stop. Can I call you back sometime, maybe? I guess I was just hoping we could. Gotta go. What is that noise? Gemma, is that you? I'm too young to die. Ah, it's just me. I wake up and you were gone. And I hear this strange sound. We hear it too. We're a little freak out. Maybe your scary story was a little too good, Isaac. I think I scared myself. Behind the rock, let's peek over the top. Oh, hey, Quirty, I'm so glad it's you guys. I thought you were like a bunch of poisonous snakes or a pack of rabbit squirrels. What is that thing? What's that noise? That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. Something about this place isn't quite right. No kidding? Yesterday I found this heavy pine cone and I thought it was pretty interesting so I brought it back to my bunk to check it out and then to be honest I totally forgot all about it. It's just a pine cone, or is it? After Isaac's story I had to admit I was feeling homesick and wanted to call home I turned on my sad phone and look It sounds like when my phone messes up my speakers. Ah, oh, my ears. Exactly. Your phone works out here? I can't get a signal anywhere. It's a satellite phone and it's supposed to work anywhere. But for some reason, all I'm getting is feedback and zero signal. But why would your phone make that sound? It's not the phone. It's the pine cone. What? It's a little speaker, look, no way, one. The sat phone sends out a signal that passes into the speaker throughout a magnet. Two, the current from the signal flows throughout a wire coil and generates a magnetic field around it. This causes the wire and diaphragm to vibrate. Three, the diaphragm passes on these vibrations to the surrounding air, which makes the noise. So the radio waves from the satellite phone must be really powerful. Exactly. Wow, that's exactly right. Okay, I'm really freaked out. They were just speakers. The counselors probably used them to reach kids who wandered too far, right? I mean, that has to be it, right? Maybe except I found something too. Last night, with the rocks... Yeah, I thought I found a decent job, and when I went to break it open, it wasn't a rock at all. So I collect a bunch more today, and every single one is the same. Even if they look different on the outside, they're all metal on the inside. Gemma, show them what else you found. Might as well. Look, I'm not trying to get all body body with you guys. But if something bad is happening, I guess you should know. Listen, it's hollow. This doesn't make any sense. I've been seeing enough. Let's just call our parents and get the heck out of here. Fine with me, but how are we going to call them with no signal? That's sound one. I suppose the speakers could be interfering with the signal. Then again, this thing should be more powerful than. So we have to use the line line. I'm sure there is one in the office. Maybe George can get us in. His parents own the place. What? How do you know that? He told me when I went to mail a letter yesterday. Well, that plants of dank. Why? You don't think he'll help us? I think what Isaac is trying to say is if there is something wrong with the camp and George folks run the camp, chances are he's in on it. But we don't know what's going on for sure. 
we could try and figure that out first, find some more clues. I think it's pretty obvious, it is, they are robots, come on man, be serious, I am, but think about the clues we already have, why would you make a bunch of fake rocks and landscape, maybe we're not in Washington anymore, the world seems pretty consistent, maybe North Northern California, if we were in California, the North Star would be, oh, these dumb clouds are ruining everything. Look, I'm just telling you what I think and what I know and what I figure out all on my own. So, what if we really are being watched by who the I, Bigfoot, more like a clandestine government agency hiding microphones and in the trees and stuff? Why would they spy and kids making arts and crafts? And these are speakers. Microphones and speakers are almost interchangeable, right? Vega, you are going with his idea? Maybe it's all of our ideas. We should be open to every theory, wrong location or robots or spies. Whatever it is, we know something isn't right. We need more evidence. Fact-fighting mission, yes. Fine, we will meet back tomorrow with whatever you can dig up. If any of you need help... We're good, it's fine. I got it covered. Tomorrow then, hey, you never said what your theory was? It's nothing. Highly unlikely, I bet you end up decide something? Nope. Come on, my brilliant theory is that if I was home in Portland, none of this would be happening. Also highly unlikely. Really? Because it feels like if I was back home, I be up late stargazing with Haley, not out, in the middle of some weird mystery forest all alone. You wouldn't be alone, but I would. The next morning. Vegas fact finding kit, compass for notes, water, sextant. Good morning, friend. Hello, friend. Good morning. Very good morning, friend. Yikes, maybe Query was right about the robot thing? Such a good morning to make friends. I love making friends in the morning. Hey, counselors. Yes, George? You sure do look tired. Should we take a break? No, I think you need to go to the office and have one fresh cup of coffee. You got it. Hey, George. What? You up for a trip to the telescope? Oh, I'm sorry, dude. It's gotta be show time for me. My stomach feels gnarly. That's okay, dude. I think I will go myself. It's just up the trail, right? No. I mean, yes, that's where it is. But we should, like, go together or whatever. Don't be such a loner, Vega. I'm not at all you. I have a best friend in Portland, right? You coming or not? I'm not really hungry. You go. Oh, well, okay, maybe I'll catch you on the flip. Peace out. Mm. Why won't the needle move? Is it the suck? Did I break it? Meanwhile, what is that stuff? Beer spray. I don't know if it's effective against such quiets, but you never know. Good idea. We're so gonna figure this out. If anyone can, it's us. Meanwhile, where are the batteries? What am I missing? What do these bottoms do? Is that some sort of code? What if I unscrew? Watch a good derba binoculars. My grandma gave them to me for my 11th birthday last year. She is a bird watcher and sometimes I get to go with her and help spot them. Except they never seem to come around when I'm with her. Actually, now that I think about it, what? I haven't seen any birds here or squirrels or deer. You're probably scaring them all off with your chattering. Unless my chattering has kept the bears away unless there aren't any birds either. Oh, come on. We are in the woods, dude. Of course, there's bears.
Those clouds might make this difficult, as sextant is a device used for celestial navigation. It measures the angle between two objects by using mirrors, Harrison mirror, graduator arc, index mirror, eyepiece, index arm. The Harrison mirror is a trans semi-transparent, so you can see the Harrison throughout it. The index mirror is attached to a movable arm. This mirror will reflect the light from the sun or other stars back the Harrison mirror. The index arm moves so the image of the sun can align with the horizon in the reflection. The angle between the sun and horizon can be read off of the graduator arc to help calculate your location. The sextant helps sailors navigate while at sea and has been used for hundreds of years, unfortunately for Vega. I know near the ocean I can even see Bugnet Sound. Why did I even bring my sextant? How can I help uncover any clues when I'm all alone out here? Ouch, is someone back here? Oh, hey, George. Oh, what? Can we talk? Uh, I am busy. I have questions. What's the deal with this place? Oh, there's no deal. Something weird is going on. I'm like, so over this, you have to know, says who, man, I don't know anything about anything, it's a place to make friends, that's all, I'm just trying to chill out, if your parents are on the camp, I will imagine you know a whole lot about this place, you are a real buskill, you know that? I can't believe I wanted to be friends with you, all I'm asking is... No wonder you are here. I bet your friend in Portland is glad to be rid of you. Get out of my way. I hate this. I hate the woods. I hate these clouds. I hate Seattle. I hate everything. Once there was a human boy who was all alone, so very alone. No parents, no siblings, no aunts, no uncles, no friends, no one. And then what? Oh, well... Sometimes it was very dark, so that made it more scary. Have you seen Vega? No, but I'm sure she will meet us later. I haven't seen her all around all day. I'm worried. Was she in your bunk today? Nope. Do you think they will notice if we snake a way to find her? What do you mean? It's not scary. It's terrifying. I think we're good. This can't be good. I'm looking for tracks, but it is too dark. Vega, where are you? This really can't be good. Where am I? Where is everyone? Vega, you out there? Come on, Vega. Where are you? Vega. Shoot at it? Or play dead? Oh man, which kind of bird is it? Just go, please just go. Hey, look, there she is. Shh. We find you, ugh, lay over every day. Get down, it was nice knowing you guys. Kinda fun while last, was it? Wait, is that, it can be, it's softy bear. So soft, so clean, where's my spray? Please don't hurt us, don't cry. Wipe your tears with a softy tissue. It's glitching out, man. This brown, new formula will never, it's transparent. What that disc? Don't touch it. Are you okay? That was shocking. The bear is gone. What was that thing? Well, I guess I was wrong. It's not robots. That really happened, right? It certainly happened. Chapter 5. Get to know them. Can I see your hand? It didn't really hurt more like a powerful static shock. Dude, it looks sick. I'm totally fine. He means it looks cool. Thanks. How did you even know to do that? I didn't. It was just a guess. It looked like it was glitching or broken, poorly programmed. I was going to see if there was a switch, but it was more technically advanced than I could be predict. Not exactly a robot, not exactly a hologram. It's quite impressive and really dangerous. We gotta get out of this place. Did you find any more clues, Vega? I couldn't find anything. 
there hasn't been a break in the clouds since we got here, but I'm willing to try and look again tonight, and I figure query will look into the whole softy robot thing and you can collect some more. No way, we're not splitting up again. The second rule of any horror movie is don't split up. What's the first rule? Stay out of the forest, but we script up that one already. What's the third rule? I don't know. Try not to die? Good morning, friends. Are you ready for another fun day of camp? Are you ready? 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 I have an idea. Can I show you something? It's right over here. What would you like to show me, friend? Did you make a new craft? It's right this way. Did you make a new friend? You know, George would make a great best friend? Right here. Stand back. Three detect. Yeah, that feel weird. It looks sick, though. Do you think it's all of them? Seems so. If they aren't robots, what are they? I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I saw that hologram of David Bowie at the Hall of Science, but he was nothing like this. Look at them. They look so solid. So real. Mmm, this bacon is delicious. So dumb. We should have noticed sooner. Hmm. How many of you want to sit with George? Be his friend? He's such a good friend. I think we need to snake into the office. Now? Shouldn't we come up with a plan first? Plan? How do you plan for electronic camp counselors? For softy bear showing up in the woods? This is beyond planning. She's right. There's no point waiting around for hints. It's time to figure out what's going on straight from the source or at least figure a way out of here. But we stick together. No one gets left behind. No matter what happens, we're here for each other. I'm in. Me too. It's go time. We got this. So you are from Portland? You ever go to Ed's House of Gems? Is that the one with the huge sign? Everything for the roundhouse? Yes, I'm still dreaming of a pink tourmaline. I saw there on a trip. Gemma, your collection is out of control as it is. Your brain is out of control. Have you always lived in Seattle? Yep, yes. Uh, oh, it seems nice, I guess. Seattle is the best. Seriously, you are going to really like it. We have the Pacific Science Center, and you know, the University of Washington has a whole planetarium. Oh, and there's the Living Computer Museum, too. Don't let this weird camp fool you. It's not a bad place to live. Yeah, I don't think this weird camp is actually in Washington anyway. It won't open. Now... When you tell us your hidden talent is luck picking, right? I wish you. Nope, I'm more into solving crimes. Where there is a window, there is a way. Wait, look, it is another fake. Well, this is strange. Looks pretty normal to me, exactly. Too normal. Just keep looking for clues. No! What you find? My letter to Haley. Of course, he didn't send it. Who? Her Portland friend. Oh, no, no, no. What if she thinks I forgot about her? Why should she think that? I haven't spoken to her since we got here. And I didn't want her to... What if she forgot about me? We need to hide now. Get in. Hurry. We will never fit. Squeezy, your boot in here already. Okay, is that a hatch? A ladder? I'm going in. Be careful. Always. Come on, we're sticking together, remember? One small step, right? What in the heck is happening? Do you think this stuff is real? I've only seen technology like this in movies. How does this work? How does this work? How does this work? 
is that one cool summer worst movie ever and that one's playing friends worst didn't george wear a shirt like that he did look there's softy see we are in seattle there's a bottom here for everything vega i think you're gonna want to see this whoa mama is that a telescope she's incredible well tell us what you can see we are going to have to come back at night and the weather is still bad, way too overcast. Wait, I think I know how to fix that. Stay here. Fewer clouds, less sun, night more activated. I think it's working, yes. What do you see? Any recognizable constellations? I'm looking for the Big Dipper so I can find the North Star. Great idea. So everything is fake? Like the weather, the consulars, everything? Looks like it. I just don't understand how or why. Any look, Vega? How's the moon look throughout that thing? Huge? That's... that's no moon? No, it's not. Chapter 6. Be there for them. You couldn't just let it go. You had to go poking around where you don't belong. To be fair, I don't think any of us actually belong here. Wherever he is, did you say, I'm pretty sure we're in outer eye as space. We totally are. Hey, George, how far from Earth are we exactly? How did you get the atmosphere so stable? How did you get us up here? Is this a moon base? A satellite? Do you ever... Stop talking. We were supposed to be very best friends. He's an alien. What's wrong with that? You don't even know how good you have it. Airlines are so spoiled. Then why would you want to be friends with us so badly? Seriously, do you have any idea how lonely it is in space? How isolating. So you thought kidnapping a bunch of kids and pretending we're in some sort of weird camp movie was the solution? Everyone is happy in those movies, and all the kids here need me. You should be grateful I brought you here. And where exactly is that? Farther than the moon? Because if we are, it could be a really long trip back home. What? You want to go back? Oh no, no, no way. I built this entire space station all by myself. I'm not going to let my hard work go to waste. The lesson in all those movies is that making friends is the best thing ever. And in the end, you're never lonely again. Doesn't that sound better than being locked up here alone? Take some time and think it over. Would you rather have me as a friend or an enemy? I can't believe we went to space. Girl, we are currently in space. Isn't it amazing? I wonder how big the space station is. Do you think the camp takes up most of it? Could there be even more down here? It's gotta be pretty huge, right? We have to break out and go back to the telescope because I have to see. We should break out and find a way home, don't you think? Well, yeah, of course, but when are we going to have this chance again? I want to make the most of it. Who has a phone? I want to take a selfie. We need to warn the other campers. We all need to get home. Can squeeze it out? Can you reach that panel over there? With these short arms, ain't gonna happen. What about something to throw? Check your pockets. What do you we have? Oh, oh. We have this. Do you know how to use that thing? I think so. I was able to decode some of these symbols when I was working on the pine cone speakers. This one means on. Slide it out there first. The consulars can help us if they're trapped in here too. Smart. Hello friends. I love helping my friends. What do you need? Hello. Do you think you could help us? Great thinking you. We need you to let us out so we can be your friend. Oh, it looks like you've been bad. Bad friends must wait here for George. But George said it was okay. That is against protocol. 
can we reset this thing? I thought we did. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there's a cold word like for sleeper agents. Computer, restart. Isaac, I love you, but restart isn't much of a cold word, is it? What would George say? What does he like? Hey, counselor, what does George like? George likes making friends and being cool. What do you like? What do you like? I like friends. What do you like? What else do you like? What else do you like? The all on these things, it's terrible. Wait, I hear George fix something like this. It was like a code. Hey, you look tired. Should I take a break? Um, yes, taking a break. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed it up. How's it gonna help us now? It's a computer, just try again. Hey, counselor. Hello, friend. You look tired. Should I take a break? No, you should. Ah, uh, you should have some coffee. How much? One fresh cup. Ready for instructions. Level up. Release us, please. Affirmative. That was amazing. Take a break. Taking a break. Let's go. Keep running. We're stable, I thought we'd be spinning. If we're stationary, how is there gravity up here? Has to be some other type of artificial gravity. Some kind of what? Now, one way to simulate Earth gravity in space is to use centrifugal force, like when you stick to the walls of the graviton at the fair, or with something that has a lot of mass, like a huge planet, or really dense like a piece of a neutron star. Earth is in a big trouble if that's the route he went. Oh man, right? Or it could just be, you know, alien technology, I think we're focusing. Or the ground problem here, gravity or not, we need to get down there from up here. And I don't know how to drive this thing. This looks like it could help. It's the whole space station. There's a camp, and that looks like the van that picked us up. We could use those to get out of here. We're going to have to split up. But your rule? We have to move fast and get all the campers on those vans before George can catch us. How are we going to fit every camper here in a single van? We don't know how to fly one van, let alone four. That's why we need to split up. So here's the plan. Gemma and Isaac will go and get everyone on the bands. Greedy and I will reset the consulars. We might not be able to fly the bands, but they can. Then we will meet back in the hangar and get the heck home. Chapter 7. Make the effort. I've modified the speakers to work like walkie-talkies. Hold down that button if you want to transmit a message. Perfect. Query and I will go reset the consulars. We won't leave without you promise. Mission homeward. Bond is a go. Over. See you on the other side. Over. Oh, and Gemma, you rock. And you're a star. How would you like one fresh cup of coffee? Awaiting instructions. You too need one fresh cup of coffee. Awaiting instructions. You three go to the bands. Get ready to take all these best friends home. Affirmative. Thank you. Let's go grab our bags before it's too late. I think I see another one. Gotta catch em all. Y'all are about to love me. You found bird marshmallow? We've got good news. Yeah, this tastes wrong. You can have all the marshmallow you want at home. That's right. Come cancel. Pack your bags and... Make it snappy, we've got zero time to waste. Yes, thank you, move, move, move. Right now, let's go, I hate it here. Faster, keep going, right this way. Where even are we? It's one of those uh, underground parking garage, hurry up. Heading into the office should be their son. The office? We're almost at the bands, hurry up. There's another consular up ahead. Hey, there, you look like you need some three detected. Fresh coffee, fresh coffee, green, no, ah! 
Vega is your hand okay? It feels kind of like a sunburn, right? More annoying than painful. That will fade and then you will feel a prickling sensation like, hey, you saved me. That was amazing. One time I got this really bad sunburn at the coast and I grabbed a whole sheet of other pops around my shoulders like a cape to try and cool off. Smart, man, I could really use another pop right now. Tell me about it. Here we go. One young lip, right? Exactly. Hello, friends. Let's uh, go, George. Please, I don't understand. We want to go back home, back to Earth. No, what I understand is why. Were things really better for you back on your home planet? Reggie, no, don't die on me, buddy. I mean, look at you. You are crying away a vacuum cleaner. You needed my camp more than anyone. Now you're both so eager to run home. To what? I think you needed the camp for more than anyone. Why else would you build all of this? Which, by the way, is pretty incredible. Everything is related. Thanks. It took me six whole cycles to build. Wow, good job. Not good enough. Throw, right? All of you are so desperate to run away. No one wants to stay and be my best friend because you trapped us. Well, I tried everything else. I held it on every frequency. I sent out welcome bacons. FRBS broadcast my favorite music. Nothing happened. Nobody replied. Nobody came. I was just floating out here alone, solo, companionless, just me, myself. And that's it. What's about your family? Ha, huh, family. The minute you learn to block a quarter, you've got to go out on your own. That's it. Time to leave the nest. Parents send away their offspring to make the universe a better place. And they don't even tell you how to do it. Sounds rough. You have no idea. One day I finally picked up a signal from Earth. It was the movie camp. Cool friend. I wanted to go there so badly. Earth has so many people to talk to, so many friends, but it's against intergalactic space law for our kind to take up residence on alien planets. So I brought you here to be my people, to be my friends. The way you are going about it is inadvisable. What would you know? You couldn't make friends on Earth while you were surrounded by people. Nobody even likes you. Hey, I like query. Ha ha ha, it's that right. Or did you see that your friend in Portland moon and he is the next best thing? Where are you? We are ready to go. What's that? Hand it over. Interesting. You've turned my pine cone into a combination device. No bother. Let them live. Quality over quantity, right? Wrong. Oh, I thought you might be a hologram. A hologram? Is that what you think my consulors are? Please, holograms are like baby signs. How do you get them to look so solid? Quasi, autogram, power, efficient, phase, noise, reduction. Oh, sure, right. Anyway, we just gonna grab our bags and head on out of here. No, wait, I can teach you smart enable current source robotics Query, or how to make mesh network to couple phase detectors? Just stay here and we can all be very best friends. Just like the compromise, my BBFS. George, it's BFF, no, BBF, BBF is nothing. Oh, see, I'm learning already. Now, which George did you like best? Sporty George, Bad Boy George, Hisper Musician George, Surfer George. I didn't really like any of them. That's because you never gave me a chance. What about real George? No one would like real George. I mean, look at me. No one is like me. I know how you feel. No, you don't. Nobody does. It's so when people judge you before they know you. Well, yeah, obviously. Like if you are a little different or queer 
or maybe you talk a lot or yeah or so you are an alien and you have six eyes and like i'm sure someone will want to be friends with you eventually who there's nobody out there awkward uh i will be your friend you will say oh no but i will still be friends with you you will forget all about me just like her friend Haley didn't forget about me but look look she's moved on no she just made a new friend and that's okay friendship is a renewable resource you can run out you can always make more we can be long distance friends that's a lot of distance that's hardly matters what's your email address g w at b b f dot camp but no one ever emails me we will promise i'm on computer like eight hours a day so it's really no problem i'm sorry i was mean to you query Quan, my real name is Quan. People back home called me. Did I get the accent right? Close enough. You promise long distance friends are just as good as real friends? Long distance friends are real friends. You just have to make the effort. Awaiting instructions. We know, we know. Now will be a good time to get the lead out. What's taking them so long? Awaiting instructions. Keep waiting. Affirmative. Looks like we have company, three detect, and she's mad. How about one fresh cup of coffee, three detected, not on my watch. Goodbye, friend. Over here took you long enough. You made it, only slightly worse for a weird. Same. Join the club, awaiting instructions. Take us home, friend. Send us out. Twinkle, twinkle, dear sir. Awaiting instructions. Isaac, it's our place. Wow, that fell fast. I think you actually live pretty close to me. You gotta go come over so I can show you my mineral collection. Okay, you too, Greedy. For real? Yeah, the Stay safe out there. See you soon. Really soon. Awaiting instructions. Take Bella home, please. I found this in your bunk. I thought you might want it back. My bracelet, thank you. I know she means a lot to you, your Portland friend. She does. But you do too. I I don't I don't know what to say. Wow, that's new because usually and I don't know if you notice this, but I have a tendency to go on a bit. You sure do, but you have arrived. Thanks for the ride. You better head back up to home base, okay? And tell George to back away because things could get pretty sisters if his station gets any closer to Earth. Affirmative. What about you? Don't you need a ride? Oh, I live across the street. You're home. She's safe. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Didn't think I could make friends on Earth. Had to send me to space? Wait, wait, she was right? You, you were in space, right? Tell me you were in space, Haley. I tried to call you and text you and even send you mail. I'm so sorry, you have to believe me. I will never. Why were you worried about that? When you were, I don't know, up in space. I just didn't want you to think I forgot about you. That I replace you. As if I ever think that in a billion light years. But you know, how did you know where we were? Benny and I figured it out. Oh, this is Benny. Hi. Hey. Anyway, I dropped my phone in the ding dan toilet the night we were supposed to talk. And my mom wouldn't let me use hers too, like ditch me responsibility or whatever. By the time I got my privilege back, you were already gone. But what made you think to look? Well, I knew something was wrong because I couldn't get in touch with you. And when I called your dad, they said they hadn't heard from you either. They were really mad about it. Like furious. Yeah, like that. I swear to God, Wes, I'm calling NASA and getting us a space lawyer if I had to. Have you really? I will have Vega build me a rocket or a shooter 
or whatever and I will have words with whoever I need to have words with and then I meet my new friend Benny at the library tell him why you were there. I was doing some research about the wildlife near Sandy River and every time I went the tides were all around even when I looked them up ahead of time you know that messes up the tides the moon or something super dense right like a piece of a neutron star so we started watching the sky every night and we noticed a geosynchronous satellite that wasn't in the database it was always overhead even as the stars rose and set fixed in the sky above seattle you spent all this time looking for me of course But I have to say we're both jealous you got to go to space and all we got was a trip to Seattle. It's weird here. It's okay if you didn't get to make lots of friends. I'll never send you to camp again, I promise. I was only able to make one. Oh, hey mom. This is my mom, Lynn. She is a librarian. And she makes the best iced tea in the world. She uses a secret ingredient, fresh mint from her garden. Yes, how did you know? She is my new friend. And this is Quan. I hope you all didn't worry too much. It was pretty scary at times. But once we figured out it was just an alien having some sort of extraterrestrial crisis, we had it all under control. I remember this one time I got lost at the Chihuly Garden. That experience might have been even more terrifying because, oh boy, you don't want to break anything there. He is my friend. Three weeks later, so we'll actually be able to see Venus with the telescope tonight. Yep, I think it might be my most favorite planet. We were able to pick up that Moldavite for your friend Gemma. Oh, she is going to love it. That's a really pretty one. It was so good to see you, but we got a run. Okay, till next week. You know who we should call now? Hello, friends.